Welcome to Kitchen Tradition, where we put the tradition back in the kitchen with my special guest, Mr. Tom Senecandro. Welcome, Tom. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me here. Yes, I'm so happy to have you here cooking. Guess what we're going to make today? Um, let me guess. Fajitas and cornbread. Hey, you're right on the money. You're right on the money. And guess what? We're also representing United Way. We have our special little United shirt. Because we're giving back to the community. We're cooking. And special recipe based off of items we find at Pearl Street Covered and Cafe, which is where I turn and play C. I represent. I am the state representative for yeah. Framingham and Ashland. Yeah. And I had a chance to get out to the pantry a few weeks ago and see the good things that you folks are doing out there. Um, and that's when I started talking about cooking. So this is, uh, we're going to cook with stuff you get at the pantry. We are going to cook with that because we want to make it simple, fun, and nutritious for our friends at Pearl Street. So why don't we get jump, just going to jump into it. Sure, okay. sure. I want sure. you to cut this pepper for our fajitas. Okay. Do you know what? I can, let me see. The knife looks good and exciting. Um, now, Alicia, you're, um, you're a student of Cranium State. I am a student. And you're a student of... Nutrition. Nutrition, so I'm a little... I've never been with an expert before when I cook. You know, so, uh, don't be and, bashful. All right, so I'm just going to slice this up then. Great. While you do that, I'm going right. to grab our ingredients for the marinade, which is just going to be simply our olive oil that into our bowl. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Training. Yeah, I had a lot of training. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, my grandmother actually taught me to cook. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. What kind of recipes did you cook with your grandma? Um, the food that I like to eat typically. Um, so it's a lot of sort of very um, regional Italian recipes that were really cheap to make. Yeah. Which is probably the way most people learn to cook, and um, probably some of the best cooking in the world is that way, right? Yes, the ethnic and traditional cooking. So you're Italian, I yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I'm Greek, so we're kind of close. Kind of cousins, <laughs> cousins there, sort of. No, but um, so right now I just added the lemon juice, the vinegar, and the olive oil to our mm -hmm. marinade. And we're going to have these recipes that are going to be up online or up in this video as yeah, well. Yeah, so I'm going to can... have some recipes flash up here and also online. So on my YouTube as well. And I didn't know there was a YouTube. I have the YouTube uh, Kitchen Tradition. Google it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm going to have mine up on TomWorksForUs.com. Awesome. So I'm going to throw these peppers into the marinade that we'll start. Okay. So why don't you talk about a little bit about um, the kind of things you're doing at the food pantry and what's happening yeah, there. Yeah, the food pantry is awesome. I know it just opened, but so far we've done so well and just giving out food to the families and clients in need and it's just, I do my cooking show, but I see all the work going on and it's just, it makes me feel so good to be there and give back and, So yeah. the food pantry is located at the old registry of motor vehicles, It is, right? yes. The DMV, so yeah. <laughs> it's um, Pearl Street and Framingham Center, and it's easy to get to. And so it's a nice location. As well. Yeah. So how do people, um, if someone needs some help out and needs some um, food, how would they um, do that? So basically, they can come there Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you come in at nine to one, you can get food, and you can get. Uh, if you have your proper registration and identities, you can get your uh, registered for the food pantry. So, yeah, you could come in Monday, Wednesday, or Friday from 9 to 1, also Wednesday evening. And all you have to do is say that you're a Framingham resident, and they'll bring you food. And then you can come back with your, your proper, uh, uh, like, identifications and you get registered so it's a great process and there's also clothing donation there too not only food pantry so if I'm um, and I want to help out how would I help out can I bring food by or how does that work yeah you could come in um, donate your time and and just help out money we love money too I'm not saying that that's the only thing we love but it really helps out all the people in need there. 
So we have our marinade here, and okay. guess what? We're gonna do some movie film magic. Okay. Because guess what? I have the chicken and the fajitas. Awesome. So we're good to go. So chicken, now we're gonna talk about how you cut chicken. Yeah, so we have our vegetables all cut up so nicely. You did a great job. Thank you. So I'm just gonna Thanks. grab the chicken from the fridge. Okay. So what about your uh, studying here at Framingham State? Yeah. What, what about the food program here? What program are you in? I'm in the Applied Nutrition Program. We have three nutrition programs here okay. at Framingham State, okay. which is pretty awesome. I mean, people come here from everywhere. I know I have a friend in my class. She's from Cyprus, so you're from uh, across the country and seas. So um, I'm just going to trim the chicken here. Yeah, I mean, I've been to two other universities and really haven't found it until I came here and just started to get my niche and get in the kitchen and do what I love to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I love cooking and just being here is awesome. So Framingham State has got one of the... We're Cuban up the chicken. The, the best... Um, yeah, it's accredited. Nutrition schools in the country, right? Yeah, it's uh, ADA accredited, and um, there's not many schools that can live up to that and say that they actually have that accreditation. And um, the Natick Army Labs, which is here, they also do some internships with Framingham, and there is, they set us up with great internships like here with the United Way through Framingham. I wouldn't have really met you guys if mm -hmm. I didn't go here. So I'm really happy everything worked out. Now we're where cooking. are you? Where are you from? I'm from Watertown. Not far. No, it's pretty close. Um, right outside of Boston. So I'm just gonna put this chicken in with the marinade, mm -hmm. toss it up, get it all in there, and. Mm -hmm. Percolating. Was this the same amount of marinade that you had with that one? I doubled that recipe. Oh, double. Okay. Okay. Seems to be a lot of juice. It really sort of juices it, yes, up. Yes, it juices up as well because the chicken and the vegetables, they kind of have their natural flavors that just come out in there. So. Yeah, yeah. you're going to do this in the wok? No, we're going to do, do this in, in this flat pan. Okay. So we're going to light up our oven. There we go. And on medium, get that going. Guess what? We're going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. Okay, sounds good. You know the word about olive oil? It's good for you. It's good for you. It has mono and saturated fats, which are shown to actually lower cholesterol. And, you know, how... Is that going to be enough to lower my cholesterol? <laughs> In moderation, in moderation is the key. So we're just gonna add a little. You're right. Just add a little more. Get it. Yeah. Let's get it saucy. Let's get it sizzling. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. That looks great. So yeah, do we have a spatula somewhere? Trusty little. All right. How about a wooden spoon? That looks good to me. A wooden spoon would do. Get that going. And it's great that we have our aromatics, the onions, in there already. Mm -hmm. So when everything cooks, it's just going to add extra flavor. So what should people be thinking about for nutrition when they're cooking this? What about the nutrition? We know the olive oil is in yes, this. We, we know, know that's good olive. for you. We know about the olive oil. We have our chicken, and that's protein. Right. Uh, chicken is actually one of the most bioavailable proteins out there. I what know that's that kind mean? of a little wordiness, but that means your body actually breaks down that chicken and uses it to help like your muscles and your your energy level. So that chicken just gets used up in all the good things your body needs to do. Awesome. And we have our peppers in here. Obviously they're a vegetable, a great source of fiber. And they have vitamin C in them. Did you know that? They I do, do now. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna all right. Hot enough? I Our think it's over actually there. pretty warm. Don't yeah, 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 yeah. In in it. It. We yeah, yeah. Good <laughs> idea. Hand over it to feel the, the heat. So we're just going to actually pour it all in the back. There we go. And see how the juices just 
Yeah, there's a lot Sizzle. of juice in this, right? Yeah. That juice is going to be great for, it's going to act as a sauce, too, when we have our fajitas. Yeah. It looks great. Oh, this smells good already. It's not even cooked. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to get that browning, and it's okay. only going to take probably about six to ten minutes, but we definitely want to make sure that chicken is cooked all the way through. So, and what about some new cooks out there who don't know about handling chicken in the kitchen? What right. about that? Yeah. Can you tell us what you've learned at Framingham about I've learned uh, a bit about food safety. I'm <laughs> okay. in food service systems and I'm about to be serve safe. Certified. Okay. Yeah. So we definitely want to make sure that before we handle the chicken, we wash our hands. We have a proper cutting board that we don't um, cut anything like vegetables on, but. After. 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 After the chicken. The chicken happens after. Also, uh, chicken can carry some bacteria in it, so we got to make sure we cook it all the way through, like I mentioned, mm -hmm. so it's not pink or anything in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, basically, just be aware of your surroundings and don't be touching everything else as we cook. <laughs> I know you're very yeah. astute, so. Sure. I won't be touching anything. Yeah, I didn't touch the chicken anyway, so I'm good. I'm moving. <laughs> yeah, so... So you're a senior now. I'm a senior. So what does that mean? That means I'm graduating finally. And what happens? Well, I think I'm going to do a little bit of traveling. That and sounds that, as good. As I mentioned, I'm to Greek, and I've been to Greece two, two summers ago. It was amazing. Uh, have you ever been over to Europe? <laughs> I've been to Athens, yeah. Yeah, you've been to Athens. And wherever the boat goes in, I don't remember where it goes in from Italy, it comes in and goes yeah. across. There's a ferry that goes to, I forget where it lands. That's, that's and then it's about a three hour ride from where the ferry lands to Athens. Yeah. And then Athens is wild. It is wild. It's just amazing to be there. It's like being in a history book, kind of, you know, you see the Parthenon. And the, the thing I loved about visiting the most is I got to visit my aunt and she showed me how to cook there. So she and lives there, huh? She lives there and the funny thing is she doesn't know much English but in the kitchen we kind of had this language together where she would just say like the words and I would, I don't even know what she was saying but I would go and I would grab butter or like I would grab like flour. Cool, that's fun. Yeah, I feel like cooking is a language that is just So when, after you travel, yeah. you're thinking about maybe I'd working after back. that. Yeah, I guess I'll go back to work. I mean, I would love to continue with the United Way. I feel like, you know, I feel like really happy there. And if I can keep in these shows back, I think that I'd be really happy doing that. So you were, you were interning at the United Way? Yes. So do you get credit for that, or what is that all about? get credit for it. It's part of an internship and the requirement to graduate from the Ham State. So when you're in at the United Way, what kind of you're training here at Framingham, what do you bring to the United Way when you show up there besides working but I bring my energy, I bring my positivity and also my work ethic. I am also along with the cooking show I'm creating a pamphlet that has some for everyone to um, cook there and we'll actually include the chicken Alright, 
So the cornbread, is this, this, where did you get these recipes from? Um, allrecipes.com. So now you're microwaving the water I'm instead of heating it up on it's the quicker. stove? Oh, it's quicker. <laughs> All right, you're making, back. <laughs> we're making a quick recipe because um, not many people know that you can make cornbread on the stovetop and sear it with olive oil. And it's actually really good. I never knew that myself. I didn't know that until I found the recipe on. So have you tried that before? Is this going to be the uh, main voyage, <laughs> voyage of the, of That's the how I do, my, uh, I do my things in maiden voyage style because it's always a surprise. All right. We're going to use a sous-vide wok, but we use basically any sort of frying pan or skillet okay. as long as you put enough oil in it. Okay. All right. My skillet heated. And what are you going to use for oil for this? We're going to use olive oil. Again. Again. With our healthy oil. So, for the hot butter cornbread. Now this stuff almost looks like it's done, doesn't it? Yeah. The great part is we can even let that sizzle because... Keep it going so what to brown it up or... Yeah, um, we'll have it really brown, but the, the sauce is going to boil down a little bit and get even tastier. Ah, yes. Okay. So for our hot water cornbread, yep. cornmeal... Hot water, a little bit of salt, and shortening, and a touch of sugar. Only a teaspoon, but that adds a little bit of sweetness that we're looking for. All right. Cornbread. And you're not going to use any flour in this process. No, huh? it's all in the cornmeal. Wow. That's the okay. binder for our recipe. Oh, water's ready. And I'm back. You know, the, 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 chicken, the, the kitchen's not laid out for efficiency here. No, it isn't. It's, when you have to do a, a 30 yard dash to the microwave. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's Usually, healthy, too. You yeah, you can get your workout So, what are we doing here? I'll let you back on oh, that. Oh, okay. Thank you. And um, basically, we're going to mix in our cup of cornmeal into that hot water. I'm going to grab a bowl. And then. Our spatula. I'm gonna add the shortening in. Okay. Tablespoon of shortening. How's that chicken going? Good. Yeah, looks like it's good. It's sizzly. We can lower that heat a little bit. It's yeah, I think kind of hot. Right. We don't want to get it all. I think it's pretty much. It's pretty much done at this point. Yeah. It looks like. It's smashing. <laughs> so does that mean you? <laughs> it's cornmeal. All right, so we're going to add a touch of our salt. We'll sprinkle that. And a teaspoon of sugar. How about you pour a little bit of oil in that, man? All right. Great, thank you. So we're just, I'm just like putting it on coating for the bottom. Yes, right? we're coating that. We're not going to do a deep fry here. No. Just, well, <laughs> maybe you shouldn't give me the oil. <laughs> it's fine. We'll I think I got to shove that bit. down a little bit. So for our cornbread, we're just using our hands. Make sure they're washed before. And we're going to make them into little patties like this. All right. And I think we're going to need a spatula soon, man. Yes, we're going to. We have this one. Though. Got one over there. All right. That oil is pretty hot, so... Uh, it's very hot. Be careful. It's got sizzling. It's got sizzling in there. All right. I'm going to make the patties. Can you um, keep them from burning? <laughs> and push them Sounds down like a little a bit with that spatula. Job. Yeah, that sizzle on there. So the great thing is we can have our little cornbread with our fajitas. Oh. Yeah. And are we going to use, is that all we're having? Or are we going to have, how are you going to do the fajitas with some type I of I also layer? brought pita for oh, fajitas. Okay. It's kind of like a little rhyme scheme here that we're going with. <laughs> and it's great to have recipes that you know and easy on hand so you can get in the kitchen with your family. And, mm -hmm. and something like this, the kids can get their hands dirty. I know it's, the kids always love to play with like Play-Doh, but... It's actually edible. Make sure they wash their hands before, though. <laughs> That's the only thing. All right, one more in there. All right. Those are looking pretty 
sizzling. So yeah, we have our pita bread. So we're gonna have our pitas in. So why don't we get our little plates ready? Ready for this? Yep. We're gonna serve this up. So what's the what's the big push here? Is it cooking? Is it nutrition? Is it? It's a it's a is medley. It the industry. What it's kind of things would you learn here? Well, you learn broad the scheme of everything. Um, you learn about food service. You learn about culinary. Like as I mentioned, classes come in here and cook. You learn about food safety. You learn about the nutrient value in foods. So they give you a really good education here. It's, they start you off for success. Good. <laughs> yeah. So how long have you been in the program here? Um, this is my third year. Okay. It took good, me a good, bit, good. I, as I mentioned, I did transfer, but I'm, I'm so happy that I finally picked Framingham. So, come to Framingham. <laughs> it's like it's sizzly over there. Yeah, it is. So I think we're about good to go here. Yeah. All right, so how about you place one of those cornbreads on the plate? There you go. Oh, this one better great. come out or it's going to... Now we'll be there too long. An extra one. Right, there we go. <laughs> Looks like a little smiley face. But actually, we're going to take our pita and actually serve it inside the pita. Looks like. Is that spoon going to be good enough? Yeah. Spoon it right in there. So we're, you're going to take a bite or what? Yeah, you're going to take a bite too. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is kind of unruly here, isn't it? Wow. Flavor. Mm. Flavor's intense. It is great. It's good though, yeah. Mm. It's great. Well. Really tangy. I like it. It is. You can really <laughs> taste the lime juice in it. Yeah. That's really exciting. It's really good. Mm. And the cornbread's crunchy. I didn't get to the cornbread yet. A little crunchy. <laughs> it's... Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's pretty good. Good. Well, hey, thank you so much for coming to my show and cooking here with me at Framingham State and representing Live United, United Way. Great. Tom Senecondro. I'm your host, Lisa Ontario. Thanks for joining us on Kitchen Tradition. Welcome to Kitchen Tradition, where we put the tradition back in the kitchen. I'm your host, Elise Lepterio. Let's get to the cooking.